Okay, so let's address this whole P. Diddy malarkey, shall we? Um, I've got to say, I'm already, I'm bored. I'm ready to move on. I've been watching hours of videos today about P. Diddy, and uh, it's, there's nothing there, okay? They've raided his house, that all they found was a lovely home. In all seriousness, though, I, I think, I hope, you're going to see why I'm so bored so soon of this story. Uh, <laughs> principally, my main problem is it's very confusing, okay? Soon as it gets all serious and criminal and there's raidings of houses and stuff like that, and it's on the mainstream news, uh, that's when I, I have to sort of check out of stories because everybody's going to be fact-checking everything you say. And as thorough as my research is, uh, I can't be... I don't have time, okay? And if it was just a simple thing of, you know, trafficking, which I thought that's what it was. I thought everyone was angry because he's been trafficking all the women, like Epstein, you know? And we don't like it when they traffic. It's not... Uh, it's a faux pas, isn't it, to traffic? People don't like that. I thought, okay, we've got another public enemy and everyone's going to be like, oh, the industry, Weinstein, Epstein, whatever. But I've noticed that over the last uh, couple of days that I've been watching these videos, uh, a lot of people have been talking about other stuff like uh, grooming younger artists like Usher and Justin Bieber and all of this kind of thing where he was having weird adult parties and inviting 13-year-old boys to them and doing all kinds of crazy stuff in front of them. But another angle that some people, <laughs> particularly black Twitter, uh, seem to be getting all uh, excited about is the fact that a lot of people are saying that P. Diddy is gay. And uh, do you know who I think the real victim is in all of this? Uh, because he's been accused of some really big crimes. Uh, and yet, the big problem that everyone seems to have, that like the one that most people are focusing on, is the fact that he might be gay. And now, as I said, who do you think the real victim is in all of this? Probably you're all thinking all of the victims, right? Wrong! It's Kevin Spacey. Okay? You remember when Kevin Spacey a couple of years ago got cancelled? Because uh, back in 1991 he hugged a guy or something? Yeah? What's that? A love crime. It's the loveliest crime I've ever heard of. He hugged a guy, got cancelled, and he came out and thought, well... It's 2020, or whatever it was back then. Uh, people will understand. I'm gay. And everyone said, no, 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 that's not the point. We don't care that you're gay or straight. It's the, the, the hugging of a man who didn't want to be hugged. And everyone lost their mind. Yet P. Diddy comes out. And uh, the, the, the wild accusations to me would be the trafficking, the grooming... <laughs> but everyone's going crazy about the fact that he might be gay. Kevin Spacey must be spinning in his... He's not dead, is he? Uh, he must be rather peeved. I'll show you some of the clips that are being shared all over Black Twitter, which is a community that I really uh, understand. Um, I get on very well with the participants in Black Twitter, and they've given me authority to show you these clips. I'm like Kennedy, you feel me? He like Clinton. I was the president for shit. Yeah, man. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. It's enough. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look beautiful. It was a great pride. move. Out. Gay. Yeah, Mr. Lee. Where, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like Mr. when you oh, when you scrambling and scraping for shit. I like that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. to look, look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we. I'm I saying miss, it seems like a thing. I miss it was his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we we party for my birthday before you came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? So I was the end of the night and it was smaller. We're kind of new to vibrations. So if I make it out tonight, I just got me out. Thank you. Such a vibe.
Yo, yeah, Toronto, we come to your city, okay, Atlanta. Dallas. Play whatever you want to play, baby. It's here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you get the idea, that's the kind of thing that black Twitter is fixating on. They're obsessing over his sexuality. And, uh, but you know, it, this isn't a problem that is unique to black Twitter, to the black community, okay? It really isn't. Every community has its idiosyncrasies, its, uh, its obsessions, and uh, theirs just happens to be a, a sexual orientation. They need to know as much as they can about it. And uh, I've got to say, a lot of people who follow this channel, people sending me messages over the last few days telling me, you've got to look into this, Prince Harry. Prince Harry is involved in the trafficking. He's not involved in the trafficking. Prince Harry couldn't traffic uh, fruit and vegetables, okay? He is not trafficking people. Uh, he happens to have coincided in a couple of parties with Peter. There is no way that he has any kind of direct link to any extreme criminal activity. Sorry to disappoint you. I don't care what you show me about a person he knows. That guy can barely organize breakfast. How is he going to be uh, <laughs> shipping people from one country to another? Uh, 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 and flying under the radar. He's not got no interest in, you know, anything sexy. Prince Harry just takes his ayahuasca, he goes to outer space. Uh, there was the weird thing about uh, Paddy McGuinness. He was trying to kiss Paddy McGuinness. That was a me too. Oh, nobody ever really went into that. They should have dug a little... Paddy McGuinness should have said... Paddy McGuinness is autistic as well, I think. So Harry actually did S.A. an artist, which I never made a video about. My goodness. So maybe he had like a subdivision of the trafficking business. No, I don't think he did. There were no, let's just, this is my point. Every community has the things that they go mental about. It's not happening, okay? Uh, we're all losing our minds. We're all projecting what we want onto this case. Anyway, if any of you are interested in some of the more lewd details, any of the sexy stuff uh, <laughs> that uh, Diddy's been accused of, you can check out my Patreon video, which has just come out. Uh, the link is in the description. But anyway, we're gonna take a look at what Usher says about his uh, experiences as a young man uh, in Diddy's place. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> some... Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. Now, to me, this is the really crazy stuff that we should all be fixated on. Uh, the fact that 13-year-old Usher was in Diddy's house uh, seeing all of those things that may or may not have been happening, which definitely were. But now this might not be a very popular take, but I don't think it's that out there. Uh, is this victim blaming? I don't think this is victim blaming. What parent in their right fucking mind sends their kid off <laughs> to this motherfucker's uh, flavor camp? Age 13, you're going to send... <laughs> look at that guy. You're going to send your kid off to his house for months on end. That's... I don't know. I'm a victim blaming.
Anyway, let's take a look at a video of uh, Diddy with, uh, I think, a 15-year-old Justin Bieber. This is uh, this is one of the weirder ones I saw. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but... Um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. Man, after my. Is there any way we're all getting the wrong end of the stick from that video? Because to me, that was uh, honest John and Pinocchio before he sold to Stromboli. That is fucking. Uh, I diddly d an actor's life for me. I diddly day. An actor's life is gay. We've gone full circle. Uh, anyway, Justin Bieber rescued his father from the belly of the wheel, as we know, and he got married to Hayley Bieber and everything turned out okay. He escaped from Pleasure Island. He's no longer a donkey. Uh, and uh, good for him. However, wasn't that very creepy? Am I mental? Is there any explanation to what we just saw that? Was it a bit? Were they joking about going out and getting girls and riding a Lamborghini at 15? I don't know. Anyway, as I say, more lewd details on my Patreon. Okay, check that out. Link in description. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. There's a lot to talk about. And obviously, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. So, subscribe if you've enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'd subscribe if I were you.